Do you want to get your fingers warmed up and ready in exactly one minute? Stay tuned and find out how. Well, hello, Matt Willis Bagpiper here, and on this channel, I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like this kind of content, bang the music stand with your practice channel, and maybe even subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, all of that kind of stuff. But let's get on with it. All right, guys, in previous videos, I have talked about the importance of a good warm up. It should take, in a perfect world, 25 to 30% of any practice session you have. It is super important that you get your fingers warmed up and ready before you start trying to make the music on our instrument. Well, sometimes you don't have the time for a warm up. You might only have five minutes. Sometimes you're just not in the mood for a warm up. Even I have days where I just want to pick up the pipes and go. I've been thinking about this and I've come up with the ultimate one minute warm up. In the description below is a download link for this document right here that talks about everything we're about to do today. All right, so for this one minute warm up, what we're going to be doing is starting on a low G and what we're going to work up is we're gonna isolate each finger individually. I had to come up with some unique notation on here to make it possible uh, to try to show what I'm talking about, but it's pretty straightforward once we start doing it. If you look on it, you'll see a triangle shaped head on a note. That's gonna mean when you're lifting to say a B, I actually want it to just be a one finger B, but I want you to hold it in that position. If it was an F, it would be just the middle finger on the top for that one finger F position. Remember, this is a warm up. This is an exercise to get our fingers ready. It's not a tune. The basic structure for all of these is we're going to start on the low G and whatever grace note we're on, we're gonna tap out three of those. Then we're gonna float that finger and tap three taps. Then we're gonna go back and forth evenly a few times between the note and the single finger lifted. And in the case of low G and high A, we're actually going to do some sweeps up and down with our thumb and our pinky. These are the two fingers that have lateral motions. And even if you do some sort of tap and curl style burl, I still feel having the control of the lateral motion on your pinky can go a long way to keeping your pinky supple and ready to play. Let me go get a metronome right quick. We're gonna set it at 104. And if we did this at 104, it takes exactly one minute to do. All right, I got my metronome right here. Let's see how this goes. You have this set at 104, it'll take exactly one minute. It's pretty aggressive in the speed, but I really wanted to get this done in one minute. You're welcome to slow it down, take 90 seconds, maybe even two minutes to get through it the first time. Let's see how this goes for me. <laughs> And done. Whew, a little out of breath after that, but uh, that's the one minute warm up. So, just a couple things real quick on again the notation. So, on that high A at the bottom, I show both a high A with the triangle head, meaning just the thumb off, going all the way to low G. I'm meaning to tap all the way, just down a tapping motion, not a sweeping motion. On the ones I show the G, the high G grace note. Yes, a low G is still coming out, but we think about that high A sweeping motion more with that high G, so that's why I wrote it that way. And I have it starting down, then up, then down, then up. It doesn't really matter what order you go in, just to cover both of those, and again, to keep that thumb nice and supple on those. So, there you go. There's the ultimate one minute warm up. When you're done with this, all of your digits are gonna be ready to start playing some tunes. And it's gonna go a lot better than if the first time you find an F grace note is in an E doubling. You've already isolated, got a little bit of exercise on it. So, well anyways, I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, please share this video with anybody you think could find it helpful. 
like the video, and most importantly, please think about subscribing to the video. The more subscribers I have, the easier it is to make this kind of content. Well, anyways, I'm Matt Willis. Again, everybody, and until next time, cheers. Cheers.